Okay, we're here with Bryn Pipes, graduated in 2012 with a degree in literature from CSU and then uh, went on to the TESOL program. Thanks for joining us today, Bryn. How are you doing? Doing well. So Glad tell us, what are, you, what are you doing now? Uh, so currently I am working with the Nature Conservancy as a land steward. Um, we have a project area just east of Columbus. It's attached to Fort Benning. Uh, we manage 35,000 acres of conservation lands, um, a lot of prescribed fire, um, ecological thinnings. And our goal is to improve habitat for rare and endangered species and assist Fort Benning's mission of training and um, offsetting um, habitat loss on base for any training missions that they need to undertake and the uh, expansion of the base as they continue to grow. That's fascinating. I didn't know they did that at Fort Benning. They so, do. Uh, they, they do a lot of excellent land management on base. Um, but of course, with the, the BRAC closures and as Fort Benning has continued to grow, um, they need to build more infrastructure. So in order to offset habitat loss from that, they have partnered with the Nature Conservancy to kind of improve habitat in the surrounding area to offset those costs. And it's also serving to create a buffer right along the base boundary um, to, for safety for the public as well. So what do you like about your job? Pretty much everything. Um, I get to spend almost every single day out in the woods um, assessing habitat quality, um, surveying for rare and endangered plant species, as well as wildlife species. Um, and right now at this time of year, um, from January through June is our prescribed fire season. Uh, so we are setting the woods on fire as often as possible for, uh, for these six months out of the year. That sounds kind of fun. It's very, very fun. So how did you get the job? So I got into this, um, I, I started out in this career back in 2015. Um, I began as a seasonal employee for the Georgia Department of Natural Resources. I was on a, a seasonal prescribed fire burn crew in Southeast Georgia. Um, we burned um, on average 50 to 60 days um, out of the year down there. Um, we were burning on state parks, wildlife management areas, and also assisting the Nature Conservancy on some of their preserves in, in South Georgia. Um, from there, uh, I, I held that position for four consecutive seasons. Um, and then from there, I took a position with an organization called Wildlife or Wildland Restoration International in, based in Gainesville, Florida. Um, I was down there for about a year and a half. We assisted state local and federal partners uh, across the peninsula of Florida. And after about a year and a half of that, um, this position with the Nature Conservancy in Georgia came open. I'm from this area, so it was a unique opportunity for me to return to my home landscape and, um, and really make a, a big difference conservation-wise in the area where I grew up. Great. And on your job, do you use anything you learned as an English major at CSU? I do. Um, so communication skills are a huge part of what we do, as you might imagine, as we are lighting the woods on fire. Really good, concise communication and giving clear direction is a big part of successfully pulling off those burns. Um, and we also have to, for any, any area that we do conduct a prescribed burn on, we have to write very detailed burn plans beforehand. And again, uh, clear and concise writing, um, specific uh, direction in what we're looking for as far as firing effects, how we're going to do it, how we're going to keep it within the lines, and then also what our plan is going to be should it escape. Um, those are those are all very important. And um, it's, I've, I've become the person that reviews a lot of plans for other people in the organization just because of my background with writing. That's awesome. And the last question, what advice would you give to current 
CSU English majors? Get as much out of the the English department as as you possibly can. Um, and I, I know that my career has taken kind of a, a hard turn away, it seems, from the literature degree that I got. Um, but English is one of those degrees that is very malleable. Uh, those communication skills that you learn um, can be translated in all sorts of different ways and really serve you well, not just on a personal level, um, but in a whole array of careers. Um, you don't have to, to just go into teaching or research. Um, there are all sorts of other avenues that you can use an English degree. It won't always be easy to make it work, but um, you should be, should be well versed in hard work with uh, writing all of those essays that will serve you well. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining us, Brandon. Best of luck to you and as you move on in your career. Thank you very much.